Hello everyone, welcome to Akash Institute. In this new video series, we are discussing the counselling processes of different states and UTs of India for NEET 2024. Today's state is Tamil Nadu. In this discussion, we will look at seat matrix, cutoff analysis and the entire counselling process. Please visit this website for more information on the same. Let's first look at the MBBS seat matrix of Tamil Nadu. As you can see, there are 74 colleges with 11,700 seats in them. Take a look at the map to have a better understanding of the distribution of the colleges throughout this state. Here you have the list one of government MBBS colleges. Please note that Ames Madurai offers admission only through All India Quota. The state quota is available in the other colleges. Also, please note the names, locations and the number of seats in these colleges. This is list 2 of government MBBS colleges. Here you have the list 1 of private MBBS colleges and then you have the list 2 of private MBBS colleges. Now, let's look at the BBS seat matrix of Tamil Nadu. There are 32 colleges with 3113 seats in them. Take a look at the map and have a better understanding of the distribution of the colleges throughout this state. You have the list 1 of government and private BDS colleges here. This is list 2 of the same. Now we will look at the MBBS cutoff marks of 2023 in the government colleges. This is for general, OBC, ST and SC. For EWS it was not applicable. Now this is same for the private MBBS colleges, general, OBC, ST and SC. And again the same for the deemed universities, general, EWS, SC, ST and OBC. Now we will discuss the different quota categories in these colleges. In the government medical colleges there are 85% seats reserved under state quota. That is further divided into open competition 31%. Backward class 30%, most backward class 20%, SC and ST 19%. And if we talk about the fee structure, the OC, BC, BCM and MBC candidates pay 13,610 per annum approximately. And SC, SCA, ST candidates pay 9,610 rupees per annum approximately. Now let's look at the quota categories under private colleges. There are two kinds of private colleges here non-minority institutions and minority institutions. The non-minority institutions have 65% state quota and 35% management quota. Minority institutions have 50% state quota and 50% management quota. If we talk about the fee structure in the private medical colleges, we find that in state quota candidates pay 4.35 to 4.50 lakh rupees per annum approximately. Under minority quota, students pay 13.5 lakh rupees per annum approximately and NRI candidates pay 24.5 lakh rupees per annum approximately. Now let's look at the different steps of the counselling process. It starts with online registration, the link has been given, then declaration of state rank list, then online choice filling, allotment of seats and in the end you report at the allotted college. Now let's talk about the eligibility criteria. For the seats reserved for the localites of Tamil Nadu, candidate must have the nativity certificate of Tamil Nadu or candidates who are native of other states but studied from 6th to 12th standard continuously in Tamil Nadu are also eligible under the open category. To know about other eligibility criteria, kindly check the prospectus available on the official website. And please remember, this is an open state. So students from other states and UTs of India can take admission here through management quota or other institutional quotas in the private colleges. Now let's look at the list of documents required for counselling, academic eligibility mark sheets or certificates, need UG admit card and mark sheet, domicile or nativity certificate if applicable, community certificate if applicable, PWD certificate if applicable, passport size photographs, government ID proof, birth certificate. And in addition to them, you may also need to submit more documents needed by the eligibility norms. 
Now let's talk about the fee exemption for SC, SCA and ST candidates of Tamil Nadu. And this is for the candidates who have selected government colleges. What is it? SC, SCA, ST candidates whose parents or guardians annual income is less than 2,50,000 rupees are exempted from all compulsory non-refundable fees that is enrollment or registration, tuition, games, union, library, magazine, medical examination and such other fees compulsorily payable by the scholar to the institution or university or board and also exempted from all compulsory non-refundable fees fixed by the fee committee. Now we will talk about bonds. Yes, there is service bond and there is also discontinuation bond. What about the service bond? You have to serve the government five years in the rural areas after completing the course or you will pay five lakh rupees as penalty. And if you discontinue the medical course in either government or the self-financing institutes, you will pay 10 lakh rupees as penalty. So we have come to the end of this video. Hope you understood the counseling process of Tamil Nadu. Thank you for watching.